Hey everyone. I know I haven't been on in a while and I have really loud music playing in the background so I don't know if this is going to come out too good. I didn't even warn anybody. Yay Scott, I can't believe you get on so fast. You're awesome. Hello everyone, this is Jody, and I just thought I'd do a Periscope today because, you know, I'm, I'm doing something that's kind of hard. Um, I was in a self-help movie, and I'm a little, like, I feel kind of modest about it. I feel like, oh my gosh, I don't want to, like, shout it from the rooftops. And it's so funny because my kids are so modest, and um, they are overly modest, like, too modest. So modest, like, they don't want to do anything or try anything, and... And I think it holds them back from a lot of stuff. And so when I first said yes to this movie, I was invited by Robin J, the producer, to be in The Secrets of the Keys and play myself. And I was like, okay, yeah, I'll do it. Figuring I'll deal, thanks for the hearts. I was figuring like, I'll just deal with it all later. I'll just deal with all of the, um, all of the stress about telling people that I did this. And you know, sometimes we get really scared of our own awesomeness or we get really scared of our own success. Has any of you ever felt like that? Just really scared of your own success? And it's kind of funny because we think like we can't live up to it. I think that's the big problem is like if we do something and we're really awesome, like how are we going to live up to that awesomeness that we did or that thing that we did? And that's something that's really hard for me. And so what I usually do, yeah, what I usually do is I go for it. I go for it without thinking because if I get into my thinking brain too much, that monkey mind and that thinking brain can think of all of the things where I, what do you think you're too good? What do you think you're better than everybody? What do you think, uh, you know, people are going to see right through you and blah, 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 blah. And like, we are such a critic of ourselves, right? We just beat ourselves up constantly in our head. And so to skip that all completely, to just skip all that stuff, I just sign up for things. I just sign up for them. I just say yes. Yes to them. And I, in, in a way, I'm saying yes to life. I'm not saying I say yes to everything because I do say no to a lot of stuff because you can't do it all. But I say yes to stuff and then I go for it without even thinking. And then later on, I'm like, what did I get myself into? Oh my gosh, I flew all the way across the country and what did I get myself into? Like, how did I do something? But it's too late, right? So it's too late, I'm already here. Thanks for all the hearts. You know, when it's too late, I'm already here, then I just go with it. Then you know, you have to just go. <laughs> and that is my trick. So that's how to do something that I'm really too scared to do. I just don't think about it. Don't think about it too much. I just don't give myself a lot of time to psych myself out. See, all day long, our brain is psyching us out about doing stuff. All day long, my brain is psyching me out of doing things. And I just have to psych myself back in. You know, I feel like, oh, it's just too hard. It's too, I, I feel too lazy. I feel like I don't, it's not worth it. All this stuff that my mind tells me, it's such BS. It's all BS. It's all lies, total lies. It's just us trying to get out of stuff. And I just have to use my tricks back on my brain and, and be like, I'll just start it. You know, once you start something, it's a lot easier, right? It's just the starting part is the hardest part. So that's my tip for you today. If you have any questions, come on, write them for me. I'll answer them. But I, I hope this music's not too loud. That's why I got the earphone. Uh, that's why I got the mic on. So hopefully y'all can hear me. So if anybody has any questions about what to do about that mind that tells you everything's not worth it and, and you know, you're not good enough and all this stuff, how to get over that and do something that you really, really want to do. What's my fear? My fear is, um, like, it's, just, it's stupid, right? This fear that we have. I think a lot of people have it because I could hear my clients say it a lot, but it's like, what if they see through you? That's kind of this little voice in my head. It's like, Jody, what if they could tell that you're just not all that? Or, you know, it's so stupid because I don't have to be all that and I could be anywhere I want to be. But I'm like afraid of being found out that I'm not good enough because that's just that voice in my head saying I'm not good enough. But um, I don't know. Welcome, everyone. So I think that's what my fear is. Like, yeah, just be yourself. Like, 
I'm so worried that I'm not who everyone else wants me to be, or I'm so worried about being judged. And I think that we all walk around like that. We all walk around so afraid of being judged by everybody else. And it's so silly because everyone else is in their own head. Nobody cares. Nobody really cares. They're all in their own head worrying about being judged by everyone else. No one's judging you. And if they are judging you, they're really judging themselves much more harshly for the exact same thing. And so you just don't have to worry about it. So that's how to do something you're scared of. Realize that nobody's judging you because they're all in their own heads, dealing with their own insecurities. And not and you're in your own head dealing with your own insecurities. And so the thing that you have to do is just get out of your head. Sign up. Do it without thinking. Just go. Just go and do it. And once you get there, you'll deal with it. Because, you know, as humans, we are highly adjustable. And we just adjust to whatever is going on. And we just get through it. And if you can't, hello. And if you can't get through it, you just leave. You get out of it. You, you know, you change your mind. You do something else. It's not the end of the world. So that is my tip to you today. Just do it. Just do it without thinking about it too hard. And you can't imagine what kind of ventures you'll get in. I mean, I'm in Las Vegas right now, and there's a premiere for a movie that I'm in. I never thought I'd be in a movie. Why did I say yes to this? It's crazy. You know, everyone's going to see me, and like, what if I sound like an idiot in the movie? I haven't seen my, I haven't seen it yet. So, but there's nothing I can do about it now. I just have to go with it because I said yes. And I think it's going to be a great opportunity for me to really share this message with a lot of people. And, it, and I'm in the movie with amazing people also. So anyway, I just wanted to let you know how to do it because um, I think you could do it too. So if you, there's something out there that you want to do, just go for it. Just say yes. Just say yes and do it and deal with it later. And you'll be so happy that you did. All right. If no one has any more questions, I'm going to sign off. Because I'm about to go into Las Vegas. Someone's saying, um, I've done public speaking in front of 100 people and I would not speak to one without blushing. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, so it's easier to speak to a lot of people than one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, yeah, because one-on-one's a lot more personal, right? One-on-one, -on -one, speaking to someone one-on-one -on -one is intimate. It's personal. And, and, you know, then you, I don't know, you get in your head a little bit more I guess right that's I guess what we're talking about today is like if you get in your head too much that's where you're in trouble because we are our own worst critic and nobody else is as powerful a critic as we are to ourselves so well everyone I hope that you do something really adventurous today I'm Jody Amen if you want more from me um, just um, come to my website jodyamon.com j-o-d-i-a-m-a-n.com and I have tons of uh, videos on YouTube for you if you like this and want some more. And I have all kinds of good stuff. So thanks, Scott. I'll have a good night. And I'll think of all of you. Thanks so much for watching.